practicing English. Hmm. Sam, what ideas do you have on how to prepare for this lesson? Well, I did something like this a few weeks ago with the、uh, famous explorers. I tried to take some famous ones like Magellan, Columbus, and Lewis and Clark. <laughs> how did the students like the lesson? It went well. We were practicing sentence and structure. They liked taking new information. Some had never heard of Lewis and Clark, for example, and practicing writing active and passive sentences. So help me get started. Tell me more about what you did. Well, for example, we first read about famous explorers who had gone to places in the world that no one else had gone to. Then we practiced writing active sentences. For example, as you know, an active sentence often uses subject, verb, object. We used this sentence for the active. Christopher Columbus discovered the new world in 1492. Okay, that makes sense so far. Sure. So then we wrote ten active sentences about the explorers. We then went back and changed them to the passive. Yeah, I remember how to do that. You reorder the subject, verb, and object, right? That's right. Let's see how good you are with doing it yourself. In my explorer sentence, Christopher Columbus discovered the new world in 1492. Now, how would you change it to a passive sentence? Okay, I think I remember how this is done. In active to passive, you change the object to the subject. The subject becomes the object, and the verb might have to change as well. You're right. So, what would the new sentence be? The new world was discovered by Christopher Columbus in 1492. Yes, that's it. Okay, I think that I have that. Now, could you help me with some of these famous inventors? Sure. Who have you got there? Well, I have a mix of inventors. Let's try you on some of these. Okay, go ahead. Okay, who invented the first electric light bulb? Uh, Thomas Edison. Right. Who invented the first mass-produced cars in America? Hmm, that's Henry Ford. Okay, right again. Who invented the telephone? Alexander Graham Bell. Here's the last one. Who invented or designed the most popular computer operating system known as MS DOS? Hmm, that would be Bill Gates. Okay, smarty pants, you got all four. Now I suppose you want me to help you with the active to passive changes. Would you? Sure. Okay. If the active sentence is Thomas Edison invented the first electric light bulb, then I think the passive version is the first electric light bulb was invented by Thomas Edison. Am I right? Yes, you are. Can you do the others? All passives. Here I go. The first mass-produced car in America was made by Henry Ford. The telephone was invented by Alexander Graham Bell. MS DOS. The world's most widely used computer operating system was invented by Bill Gates. How did I do? You did great. All of your famous inventors were accurate and also in passive sentences. Well done. Well, thank you for your help. I think my class will enjoy learning about inventors and the active and passive sentences too.